Hi everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I hope the lighting is okay. Um, the sun is setting, so the light's kind of weird in my room. But I wanted to get this filmed as soon as I can so I can get it posted and show you the first part of what I have put together for three of my very good stationary friends. Um, I've decided this year, and I've been planning for this all year, and I'm so excited to share with you what I've put together. And it initially started as just a small little package that I was going to send them, and then it kind of got more elaborate. So it's turned into a very kind of stationary centric, but kind of cozy package, um, like a care package, because I haven't seen my friends since maybe earlier this year, right before everything happened. And it, I mean, it's pretty much been a year since I've seen them. And I wanted to kind of show my appreciation to them, send them little care packages full of goodies, and uh, let them know that I'm thinking about them. So I hope they enjoy uh, what I am sending them, and you know who you are, so if you are watching this video and you haven't opened it yet and you don't want to ruin the surprise, I suggest you stop right here. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you all the different types of teas that I'm going to be sending them. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a cozy package and I know they all love tea. So I've got some stash uh, chai white tea, my favorite organic India Tulsi sweet rose, a ginger tea, puka, um, elderberry and echinacea, a stash peppermint cause kind of still Christmassy themed. And then the Tezo Juniper Mint Honey, which is my this year's absolute favorite. And then I'm also sending them, this is part of like a package of the Republic of Tea, so they don't come, they don't come in tea bags. But I created tea bags, uh, just like one larger one to hold uh, four or five packets of the little sachets with deli paper that I have. And I kind of glued the sides together, held it together with washi tape and stapled just a little cozy like Sumiko Garashi stamp and then what it is. This is the Republic of Tea Downton Abbey uh, series, the Bates Brambleberry, which is black tea with berries. So I've got a few sachets in there for each of them to enjoy and they're all getting pretty much the same thing. So all three of my friends are going to be getting what you're seeing here. So that's the tea. Of course they are going to be getting a packet of hot chocolate. So they will be uh, getting that in the box. And then I found these really fun local hive honey packets. And they were really inexpensive, locally sourced in the US. And I thought this was like the perfect cute little package to include if they wanted to have it with their tea. And uh, I just love the packaging. I mean, personally, I would want to like, once I'm done using it, cut this out and just add this to my journal. But so just a fun little packet of honey to add to the package there. And then um, I think I'm going to edit in how I f how the final packaging is going to be because I'm presenting everything to you before I seal everything up. But um, they're each going to also get a candy cane, various chocolates. I'm definitely going to uh, add that because it is Christmas, of course. Um, I have some cinnamon sticks I'm going to include. I kind of want it to be very, uh, not a super Victorian themed, but somewhat Victorian themed because I want the cinnamon sticks. I want the kind of velvety looking ribbon tied over this kind of craft paper, tissue paper that I bought at the end of season last year. Um, I stocked up on a lot of wrapping stuff after the holidays. So I'm going to wrap everything in this with this kind of red ribbon and then the cinnamon sticks and then also these dried... 
some like cutie oranges that I had a ton of at the end of the season and they kind of started drying out so I baked them up in the oven and I've had them ever since and my whole plan was to definitely use these as Christmas packaging decorations uh, for Christmas and to send to my friends so uh, like I said I've been planning this for a whole year and I'm kind of excited to just for them to finally open everything. So I have that as the packaging idea. I'm gonna set everything aside here. And then getting into the actual stationary items. They're each going to get a little wooden spool of my favorite bird washi. I'm pretty much sharing all of my like new stationary bits that I've acquired this year um, in some way, some form in this. They're each getting some sort of um, vintage tin. I thrifted these I don't know, over the summer at um, a flea market and each tin is going to have a few of my favorite star confetti just for fun. It's just full of fun little bits, um, a brass clip that they can use like a book dart and hopefully I'm in frame here. I've got some stamped images of bottles and vases in like on handmade paper stuck in there. I have my favorite stamps on little pieces of Tomoe River paper. I had so many strips, like odds and ends strips of Tomoe River paper from when I made inserts earlier like two months ago and I saved the strips and I pretty much utilized the extra strips of paper for all sorts of stamping for um, these gifts which actually really worked out. So I've got that on spare Tomoe River paper. This vintage uh, Chester City Transport bus ticket. I finally opened the vintage roll that I got uh, from England. It was a brand new roll of train like bus tickets that had never been used and I decided to break it open and share it with my friends. So they each get a few of those. Some scalloped punch papers, there's a whole mess of those. And um, this is the Lianqing, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, gummed uh, paper labels. And then all of the, I think it's like the Hour Studio, little pieces that I punched out. So they each basically got a sheet, um, each of the designs. So the little ampersands and then a bunch of these little like labels. And then as well as some paper clips, another brass dart and a gold paper clip. So this is chock full of goodies. I'm gonna try to put this back in, in order, try to. Um, just in this little tin, all these little bits that they can just add to their journal. Okay, this is tricky. I'm trying not to bend the pieces. And I just want this to kind of be a fun experience for them to open to. Like just, there's a little something everywhere, you know, in every package that they get from me. So that's the vintage tin that they'll get. I haven't decided how I'm gonna package this. Maybe it'll just kind of be thrown in. I made a shaker pocket for every one of them. I keep these little baggies from packages of, you know, sticker flakes or whatever that I've purchased. And I added some gold and gold flakes and then um, they're like little Christmas trees. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I kind of taped the bottom just so they don't spill out. And then at the top, I just cut down some scrapbook paper and stapled it up. So um, just kind of looks like it's a nice little label so they can use it as a bookmark. They can slip it into their journal. Um, I don't know, they can just have fun with it. I didn't really have plans for that. I just wanted to include a shaker pocket for everyone. So this is for the specific friend. So I put a house sticker and this is the Christmas card that I'm sending them. So that's got their own private message in there. 
and then I've got a bunch of just kind of fun vintagey papers. They can do whatever they want with it. They don't necessarily have to like keep everything. They can send it to pen pals. They can just, you know, layer it, do whatever. I have it all pinned together um, by this fun little Tim Holtz pin, the larger sheet. I only pin to one side so they can do whatever they want. It's a Spanish um, kids nursery rhyme book, I think. And um, so it's got English on one side and Spanish on the other. It's got some fun images, some book paper, somebody's old notes from school. I don't even know how old this paper is, but it's pretty old. Ledger paper, some vintage mushroom paper. And that's its own little kind of stack for them to play with. And then I have this cute little, I don't know, kind of deli-ish type of bag. And it says, have a nice day on it. And in here, I might actually slip this in with this envelope. I have a whole stack of Totoro or Totoro origami paper. So they each get one of each design. I didn't want to cut it up, um, but I do have to have it fit the packaging that I'm sending it. So that's kind of folded and that's the reason why. And then they each get um, some sort of moon astronomy postcard and a vintage bingo card that they can use for whatever. I really dug into my stash and the only things that I ended up purchasing were pretty much the candy. Um, the cinnamon sticks, but that's also because I needed cinnamon sticks. And the hot chocolate. Everything else, like the tea I've already had in my stash and I wanted to share. All the stationery you see is pretty much everything from my own stuff. Um, so if you're looking for ideas, you know, this isn't anything that really cost me that much. Um, aside from me having to ship everything. And then this is the final packet. Um, just a blank envelope and I have it stamped um, just with some simple images so they can kind of cut that out if they want to and then I have this little Tomoe River paper piece um, it says made with love by and then I stamped my name with a white paper clip holding it together and another stamped image on the other side and then in this envelope I have a bunch of goodies as well. So I have um, a Tim Holtz Christmas uh, milk cap. So they each get one of those. Some vintage game pieces that I have from some old games that I purchased um, a couple of years ago. This is from an old game called Password. So I thought something like this would make a fun bookmark too, but they can also use it for journaling. And then some old, um, I don't know, game piece here and then I'll show you the little packet later because that's a little elaborate. I made them each a little tear sheet so I did use the little um, eyelet tool I think that's what it's called. There's some vintage map pieces, some kind of oniony paper, this is like textured paper, handmade paper, some neutral colors, handmade paper with bears. They each got a square big enough so at least two bears were not, like not cut off um, if they wanted to cut them out for something. Um, some vintage receipt paper, music paper, and then a larger sheet of the matte paper. So lots of bits for layering and journaling. They each get um, some stamps, uh, stamped images. I did share a lot of my own stamps um, onto papers. And this is all, once again, just like leftover strips of Tomoe River paper that I had. Um, so I really did utilize a lot of that. And then they also get a library pocket. It's a self-adhesive one, so they just peel the back. And inside this, is uh, some Christmassy stickers I cut down so they each get a few strips of that. Um, a little bit of some nice like really heavier um, handmade paper 
and then I did some stamping on some one inch little dots so they can use that for journaling. And that's in this pocket. And then in this little glassine envelope, I have a white paper clip with um, a by pigeon stamp on to some handmade paper. And this is chock full of goodies as well. I'm trying not to make a mess. Um, all these little like confetti bits are actually stickers. I had like larger sticker sheets of different colors and I punched out stars and dots. So these are all stickable ladies um, to my friends who may watch this after they've opened it. They each get a some sort of like book plate. Um, I have sheets of like woodland creature themed ones. So they each get like a little book plate they can use that for journaling if they want. Um, some more of that Our Studio um, papers and these are all perforated. So they're all different images that they can cut down or punt, um, tear off. Um, more of those kinds of like fun papers. And I can't remember if this is classic or not. Classic paper, so they each get a sheet of that. Um, this is like all that fun collage paper. Um, so I cut those down and they each got one of those. Just a blank white tag. They can have fun with that. A sheet of these washi circles that they can cut out and use. Um, this is like stamped tissue paper. A pen pal of mine actually sent me a whole bunch of those. Um, and I thought I would just include one in each of my friends' envelopes. And then some various um, takes. Um, these are all stickables, so they're just kind of cut out. So I just cut out a few. And then various vellum images that I have in my stash. So that's all in this envelope. I'm gonna try to get it back in with no problems. And I really hope that they enjoy everything that I'm sending them. Um, I miss journaling with them and I hope that um, they know that I'm thinking about them and um, appreciate their friendship. And I am so looking forward to the day that we can journal in person again with each other. So that is the final envelope. And I don't know how I'm going to necessarily present all of this, but when I do, I'm going to edit in how all of this is going to be wrapped up, what the final packaging is going to look like. And then I had this great idea like a month ago. Wouldn't it be fun if I just kind of put the, the cherry on top of this gift? And I wanted to make them their own mini traveler's notebooks, uh, like the little keychains. I have leftover pieces of leather um, from previous projects. If you've seen my traveler's notebook cover collection, you'll know that I just like making those covers. Um, I just love working with my hands. And I have all these little scrap pieces and I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I made them their own mini traveler's notebooks? And so I did. I made them each a little notebook. It's just slightly larger than the, the actual traveler's notebook brand. Um, and I didn't add a bookmark but um, for the most part it just it looks so cute and I made one for myself so we all have matching black traveler's notebook mini ones and I added a piece so it can kind of become its own keychain it's not super secure or anything um, but I can't imagine them they'll actually put them on their keychains or their like um, you know with their keys this is more like you just keep it with your stationary stuff um, but I also thought it'd be fun to actually make little booklets for them. Uh, just to, I don't know, just to have fun with it. So this is more just Tomoe River paper left over that I've cut down um, to make the little booklets. So they each get a little booklet. It's 
a genuine leather cover from leftover leather that I have and I added the little clippy thing here um, that was like the other thing that I did have to buy was I wanted to find some black um, little clips and then I added a little tag with a little guy on it and then I think on the back I'll just say like made with love or something but that's going to be like the ultimate little like bit to top off this whole package and I am very excited to show you the final product. I'll edit that in here and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back just to show you kind of how I've individually packed everything and I've got to somehow get all of that into this little flat rate box. So I've got um, the little mini leather cover in this little package and I kind of went with a brown paper packaging tied up with string look because that's my favorite way to wrap presents. I had to separate the tea into two little packs um, so that's one pack of tea so there's a few in there and then there's a few in here along with the little um, deli bag of like loose sachets that are in there and I kind of added a little orange um, rind um, dried orange slice there and then I've got the little tin of vintage ephemera and then the washi roll in there for the most part I didn't really um, tape them kind of wanted to keep this as almost eco-friendly as possible this is like recyclable or like at least made from 100% recycled material um, like tissue paper ish stuff um, and uh, so I just kind of tied it with the string. So for the most part, just it's, you know, it's gonna, it's not traveling very far, so I don't really have to worry about things falling out. And then this, I have like these little extra tags that are kind of shaped like coffee cups and it says Moonlight Hot Chocolate and Bedtime Stories. I embellished this with a fragrant cinnamon stick. And then this has got, what do I have in here, chocolate? chocolate, the hot cocoa, and the little honey uh, sampler in there. The candy cane is going to be tucked in. I've got the little shaker pocket. And then this bag, I just kind of kept it simple. I sealed it with some washi. And then I've got the envelope of ephemera. So I'm going to keep it all together into one big wrapped package, but I wanted to show you before I wrapped it all up what it's going to look like before I stick it in there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so final wrapping. Um, I decided to not do the velvet ribbon because I just kind of like the string look. It just looks really nice with the um, natural tissue paper. Um, and unfortunately I've got like such a limited room, like limited room to work with that I, I can't put the larger cinnamon stick across and tucked in like I would have wanted with the orange slice, um, just because this is kind of, it's not very wide and I'm kind of on a budget, so I can't really go any bigger in terms of like nailing. So I've kind of tucked it off to the side. Um, there's a bit of room there. And I've got the orange slice kind of tucked in and I'm just keeping it very simple. And it'll just kind of sit on top so that you can see the cinnamon stick first. I did have to use a little bit of like this eco craft tape that I bought. Um, that is, I don't know, it says it's eco-friendly and not the prettiest like wrapping but I kind of wanted it to look a little bit homemade and put together um not professionally done you know too perfect um I just wanted it to be fun and um I just wanted it to be kind of a fun experience to open lots of little packages and um I don't know, brighten up somebody's day. So this is the first package that I've got put together. The only other thing I'm going to slip in is the Christmas card on top of this. I'll seal these up and I'll probably put some like Christmas washi on top of the front to, I don't know, make it a little festive. 
and those will go off to the post office later this week. But I hope this gives you an idea of just, I don't know if you're looking to send a little care package to somebody you care about. And, um, you know, send some happy mail. I think we all could use a little happy mail right now. And this is, you know, just suggestions. You don't, you know, just what I'm doing. And uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.